Good morning, guys. We're here at uh, one of 63 Lucknow Street in uh, Magnificent Mitcham. You can probably see behind me, we've got the flags out. There's quite a number of cars here. Um, the auction's just about to be called. The bell's just been rang. Uh, Frank Molinaro, my father, is actually going to be doing the auction of this one. Uh, throughout the campaign, I've been working closely with him on it, and we've had about 120 people coming through the four and a half week campaign, so we're expecting a really good result today. Um, estimated price is bringing around about the mid sevens to high sevens. If we can get um, more than that, we're probably going to be on the market. Frank's just getting his final instructions now on the inside. Michael's just rung the bell. The whole team are here, including um, Sanjay uh, and the Bank of Melbourne providing uh, free coffee, lollies, um, and refreshments for uh, hopefully our happy bidders. Obviously, there can only be one that purchases the property. Uh, I think we should go down, have a look. Um, probably just about to hear Frank speak right now, so let's go in and tune how it goes. Uh, Look, uh, we've got six staff here to help us, so we're really working as a team to get the best possible result for our vendor. Um, with all these people here, again, we're confident, but uh, in this property market, nothing is absolutely guaranteed. So, we're actually right behind schedule, so let's let's go have a look and see, um, see what's going on. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's fantastic to see such a large crowd here this morning. And for those of you who've been here for the first time today, a very warm welcome to you. I know also in the crowd there's been a couple of people who've been here for the second and third time, and to you guys, all the best of luck here today. I can assure you that the property here today, I anticipate, will be sold without any questions whatsoever. My name's Frank Molinari, auctioneer here this morning. Alongside me is my sales manager, Michael. Also in the crowd, we have Lena, Anna, Anthony, uh, Louise, Lai, and Jess. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, will be a live auction, so we do have a professional photographer in the crowd. If some of you are a little bit embarrassed and don't wish to be in the uh, photo, please remove yourself or turn the back to it. That's fine. But uh, it is a live auction here this morning. I am uh, requested to read to you the rules of the auction, very simple, very straightforward. They simply state that the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available prior to the commencement of the auction here this morning. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids once the property has been knocked down to a successful bidder. So that really means that if you're going to tap me on the shoulders, I go in offering me more money, I've got to say no as much as I'd like to take it. The vendor has a reserved price. The auctioneer will indicate bidders upon your request. As you are quite spread out, you'll be able to see maybe where the bids are coming from. So it's a live auction being transparent, which is the beauty of it. The law prohibits, folks, a couple of things. False bidding. It prohibits major disruption by bidders. And it prohibits other bidders putting bidders off the guard. The rules permit a vendor bid. Only I, as the licensed auctioneer, can make one or more vendor bids on behalf of my vendor. I don't think that's going to happen here today. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the rules of the auction. Very simple, very straightforward. We are bidding for the property here today, but also there is some paperwork that comes along with it, which has been prepared by the vendor solicitor, Hunt and Hunt in Melbourne. Very straightforward conditions there to protect both the vendor and the purchaser and also attached to the contract is the vendor statement. It calls for a deposit of 10% here today, residue in 30, 60 or 90 days. Anywhere in between that is fine, 45 days, 75 days, but 30, 60 or 90. What goes with the property, folks, is all the fixtures and fittings of a permanent nature that is attached to the property. So is that quite clear? Also in the Section 32 and Vendor Statement, there's all the relevant certificates from all the relevant authorities. Yarra Valley Water, Council, Land Tax, Zoning Certificate, Land Subdivision Certificate is all there. But that settlement, folks, you'll get what we call a clear unencumbered certificate of title. What that simply means is that if there's any mortgages, and as I noticed there's a land tax payment, 
That is the responsibility of the current vendor. At Sediment, you'll get a clear, unencumbered certificate of title free of any mortgages, any caveats, or any other interest that has got to be a responsibility of the owner. Is that clear? Also, in the contract, you have a couple of different options. If you want to buy under a company here today, that's fine. All we ask you to do is that you sign the guarantee part forming part of the contract. If you're here being sent on a mission to purchase on behalf of somebody, that's fine too. And or nominee is intact, you put in your name today and substitute the ultimate purchaser in due course. And that could be three or two weeks prior to contract, you need to contact your solicitor, but at least that avoids double stamp duty. Are we all clear, folks, on the paperwork? Well, ladies and gentlemen, great pleasure to be honoured to have the, be the marketing agent for this property here in the heart of Mitcham. A wonderful family that we're selling for. The property is about 12 years old, all owner-occupied in the block. There's no tenants. It's approximately just under 300 square metres. They've had 12 wonderful years here. And as you can see, it's a front unit, presents well, it's a well-established garden with sprinkler system, entrance, separate entrance hall, lounge and dining, through to double doors to a nice little deck area, huge kitchen, lounge area there, internal staircase, internal access to the double garage, which is remote control, up your stairway, three double bedrooms, fair to say, three toilets, including the one in the powder room downstairs, one in the main bathroom, and a walk-in robe, and one in the ensuite. It has got every conceivable extra you can think of, alarm system, ducted heating, evaporating and cooling, all here today, folks, for your taking. And not to forget the location. Look down Lucknow, beautiful tree-lined street. It reminds me of Laburnum, as we are a Blackburn agent there on the corner of Gardenia and South Parade, Stockdown Lego, walking distance to Rangeview Shopping Centre, walking distance to the Mitcham station there, and what a wonderful job they've done that, revamping all of that. The bus stop, as you can see, is right in front of virtually your doorstep. You can see one going through there on my left. So in all, ladies and gentlemen, it's got all the whistles and bells you could expect in, in a, a townhouse. Are there any questions on the property or the paperwork? Ladies and gentlemen, once the gavel goes down, it's sold. We are here to sell the property. Make no mistakes, folks. It's over to you now. Enough from me. Who would like to start me? On Unit 1 of 63, luck now, straight here in downtown Mitchell. A fair and reasonable start. Who would like to start me? Reasonable start. I'll take it at the back there if you like. Would you like to start it? Fair and reasonable start here on my right. Start me where you like, folks. I don't care where we start, it's where we finished at the vendor and I worry about. A fair and reasonable start. What about here on my left? Would you like to start me, sir? No, okay. What about the guys behind? Okay. Just giving you all an opportunity here. Start it from the ground floor. Over to you. Eleven o'clock silence. Always the wide options. The first bit is the hard bit. After that, it goes. What about here in front? Give me a reasonable start. Come yeah, on, go on. Give it. Give Come it on. Go. Give, yeah. it. give me a start. Don't have a fight about it. Fair and reasonable. You know, guys, we've been advertised in excess of 780. In excess of 780. That'll give you a bit of a, a hint and a start. He doesn't want to start. No, it's a bit shy. A bit shy. Oh, well. That's okay. Seven seventy. Below the advertising start. That's fine. Welcome to the bidding at seven hundred and seventy thousand. Who's going to round me off to eight? At seven hundred and seventy thousand now. At seven hundred and seventy thousand, I'm fairly big. At seven hundred and seventy thousand. At seven hundred and seventy, I'll take your ten if you like. At seven hundred and seventy thousand. Now say 780. 
That's 780, thank you. Two of you in the race there, two horse stable, two horse race. That's 780 now. That's 780, can you round me off to eight? That's 780, your first bid's not going to buy the property, sir. That's 780. That's 780,000. 790 if you like. Another shy couple here, that's all right. At $780,000, another 10 if you like. I'll call it three times, at $780,000. First call. Second call at $780,000. You're all done. Another 10, sorry, at 800 now. We're on the market, folks, at $800,000. We're going to sell, make no mistake. I'll call it three times and it'll be sold at the fall of the hammer. At 800,000 now, at 800,000 dollars, free horse race, at 800, and thanks for joining their bidding. At 800, 810 if you like. At 800, it's there. At 800, it's on the market, we are going to sell. At 810 now, at 810, thank you, at 810. At 810,000 dollars. At 810, 20 if you like. At 810, 20 can I say? At 810,000, the bid's there, against you, and you on my right, 820 now, at 820,000, at 820, I'm fairly bid, at 820, can I say 30? At 820,000, 30 if you like, at the back, good buying, extremely good buying, at 820,000. First call at 820,000, second call at 820,000. Yes, clearly on the market. It was on the market at 800. It's on the market at 800. At 820,000 for the 30 now. At 830, thank you. Four horse race at 830 we've got. At 830, can I say 40? At 830, 40 if you like. At 830,000. At 830,000, call it three times. You're all out. First call at 830,000. 850 now. At 850 now. At 850,000, I'm fairly big. At 850, make a 70 if you like. At 850,000, 880 if you like. At 850,000, 850,000. First call at 850,000. Second call at 850,000 dollars. 860, I'll take third. I will take that. Thank you, sir. At 860 now. At 860,000, I'm fairly big. 880 if you like. Test him out, see where he's at. Did I say 880? 890. 900 now. 900. Good strong bid. At $900,000, can you hear me there at the back? At $900,000, can you hear me, sir? At 900 now, you're done. Silent at 100, 900. First call. Second call at 900,000. 910. At 910 now, at 910 I'm bid. At 910 I'm clearly bid at 910 now. At 910, 20 if you like. At 920,000 if you like, come back in. We'll round at 950 if you like. Good knockout bid, 950 if you want. 925. At 925 now. At 925, could I hear me? At 925 I'm fairly bid. At 925 now. 35 can I say, sir? Okay, 30 is fine. 930 now. At 930, I'm fairly big. At 930. At 930. At 930, you're all done. At 930,000, you can all join in, folks, unless you're all neighbours. You're certainly all welcome. Don't be shy. At 930,000. 950. Sorry? 950. 950, thank you. At 950,000 now. At 950, make it a million. Round it off to a mil. Million dollars, can I say? Give me another ten. I'll take five. Thousand? Yeah. Okay. All right. At nine hundred fifty thousand. First call at nine hundred fifty thousand. He's still waiting. He's shaking his leg. It's okay. It's easy. At 950,000, first call. Out, sir, at the back. The gentleman who started me, you're out. 
Second call at 950,000. I just want to make sure. I don't want to miss anybody. Give everybody the opportunity here. Third and final call at 950,000. Got a phone a friend? We will give him a. We will give him 20 seconds. It's phone a friend now. Sorry, guys, at 950. It's with you. I've got to be fair. We're here working as hard as we possibly can for the vendor at $950,000. We are selling, ladies and gentlemen. We are selling. I'll take one. 951, make it 960 if you like, Anna. Do some hard talking at 951. 955, thank you. At 955 now. At 955, we're done. Are we silent? Are we finished at 955,000? Surely not. You've been a strong contender. Don't let it go. Give me another one to keep you in the bidding. Let's have a bit of fun. Come on. 955,000. You'll spend $1,000 tonight celebrating when you've bought it. There's the phone call saying... Go another five. At 955, first call. At 955, second call. Maybe the neighbour would like to buy it. Be careful I don't miss your bid, madam. Third and final call at 955,000. We are selling. We are selling. We are so Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Stockdown Lego. We'd like to thank you for attending our auction and have a great weekend. Thank you. Wow, fantastic result on the market at 800, sold at 955. It's another 155,000 over the reserve. Um, I can just imagine our vendors inside going a little bit crazy. It's still an excellent buy. Um, the property is only 11, 12 years old, um, maintained magically. Um, obviously we're in a high at the moment being 155 over reserve but fierce competition, four bidders, fought it out to the end, opened at 770, sold at 955, great result. Stay tuned, uh, we'll bring you the other one at 3 Walbrook Drive in Vermont South. I'll be fortunate enough to call that auction so we'll see you back at one o'clock. Thanks guys.